Are you cold? <gasps> what is up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is day number two of having no power, no water, and very limited food, aka no food. And I'm not happy about it, but you know what? It's still a beautiful day to have a beautiful day whether you have power or not. Tell them Faith, we got no power, we ain't got no water, and we ain't got no food, and it's day two in Texas in this three degree weather. Tell them, tell them. Never take for granted what you have, like power and water and food. I'll give you guys a little tour to our bedroom for the past two days. This has been our bed. So my dad slept there, mom slept there, little brother slept there, and I slept here with that little baby right there. Because the only thing that's keeping us warm at night, and pretty much all day, is this lovely fire right here. And I thank God that our house has a fireplace. Because if not, we would have all froze in our sleep. This thing doesn't work because there's no power. But it's literally like 40 degrees in this beautiful home. When you have wooden floors everywhere in your house, it's that much colder. It is currently three degrees and at night, in the middle of the night, <laughs> it actually dropped down to one degree. And what's crazy is that it hasn't been that low here in Texas since 1912, I believe. And that just blows my mind. And I'm so sad because it's crazy. Texas is out here making making some history today. And I don't know how I feel about it. But let me show you guys what I did on like day one of snow, which was like three days ago. Because I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much snow. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so, so happy. Boom. I present to you. Olaf Jr. But yeah, that was day one. I ain't doing that no more. It's cold. Now for those of you who are not from Texas and live somewhere where it's just cold all the time and it, it's snowy all the time and icy, you're probably thinking that I am extremely crazy and all Texans are crazy because we're complaining about like all the snow and how cold it is. But you guys have to take into consideration we are not used to the ice. We are not used to the snow. We are not used to this cold weather. We're not used to having no power, no food. No water. So this is why Texans complain about the weather and go crazy about the weather. It's because we ain't used to this. <laughs> okay. We're not and we won't ever be. Literally I was outside for like three minutes. And I can't feel my fingers. Y'all want to hear something funny? <laughs> I was taking a shower this morning, which by the way, I haven't taken a shower in like two days and I cannot tell you how much more cleaner I feel and more alive. Anyway, so I was taking a shower with no power, obviously, so I had no light, I was using my phone, and then I hear the AC go on, so I was like, oh, there's power. So I literally get out of the shower and put on my towel and run downstairs and I go into the fridge because I made my hashtag do it for a health drink yesterday, but as soon as I put it on the blender, the power went out because like the power was on and off a lot yesterday, but it ended up just staying off. So I was screwed, didn't have my hashtag do it for your health drink. And so today, as soon as I heard the AC go on, I got out of the shower, grabbed my hashtag do it for your health drink that was already prepped and ready to go in the fridge, took it out and blended it. And I kid you not, as soon as it was done, the power went off and we still have no power. So I just think God that I was able to make my drink because I cannot survive without it. But I have it and I'm so happy. God is so good. Even though there's no power. God is still good. This is my coconut oil that's usually not this hard. Like I can't get any of it out. This is how you know 
it's really cold in here. I'm telling you, it's like 40 degrees in here. Probably even lower. And what really sucks is the fact that because there is no power, I am unable to print out and just package out all the orders that you queens have purchased. So all glute bands, all beautiful day hoodies, honestly, there's no telling when I'm going to be able to print out and package out your orders. So if you guys ordered anything from my website and you guys haven't gotten a confirmation email and you guys just haven't seen any updates on your order, it's because I have no internet and no power and I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, but hopefully we get this figured out and hopefully I am able to ship them and package them out ASAP. Out of the, I don't know how many years I've been living in this house, I have never in my life have seen those little ice thingy bobbers on our house, especially not that long. The Texas weather, why? <laughs> why are you doing this to us? So since we have no power, we're not able to make food, we gotta improvise and use the fire. So this is what we did. We made some oatmeal and just put like chocolate chips, some berries in there, some protein powder, and it's just sitting here getting nice and warm. So whenever we're hungry, we can have that. And when I say we have no food, we literally don't have food. Like we don't have bread, we don't have like turkey. We can't make the simple things that you can bake whenever you don't have power. Which sucks, we thought we were prepared, but apparently we weren't prepared. So my parents went to the store. Fingers crossed, they were able to just find like just the basic foods. But we're all gonna be okay. I know God is taking us through this for a reason. There's a lesson to be learned with all of this. And I have a feeling it's just for all of us to just come together as a family and just hold on to our faith and just have faith that with God everything is possible and we're gonna get through this and we just have to fully just trust in his plan and be on his timing because obviously you know we have to put our life on pause like we can't I can't work I can't do really much which sucks so we're just putting everything on pause and just trusting the Lord and that's what we should always do whether we have power or not so everything happens for a reason don't ever forget ah! you guys the power's on Look at that. The house is 52 degrees. <laughs> I'm praying that the power stays on forever. The AC turned off again. That didn't even last two seconds. Okay, so I just got off the phone with my parents and they said they went to Walmart. Walmart was closed, but there was tons and tons and tons and tons of people outside just waiting for Walmart to open. But Walmart can't open if they have no power. So they ended up going to Costco. Costco is also closed. And then they went to Academy to see if they could like buy something so we can like cook our food here. They're also closed. Literally everything around us is closed because they don't have power. So we'll see what my parents end up doing or what they end up getting or what they can just get their hands on because literally everything is closed and nobody has power i literally cannot believe we are living through this this is crazy but on a more brighter and cuter side look at them they're so cute look at her are you taking a nap oh you're so warm you guys want to go outside go pee poo okay go hurry it's cold hurry please don't step on your pee please don't step on Minute. Two and a half hours later, they made it! Woo! <laughs> yes, bring the food. <laughs> Here, to keep your head warm. Go get them, look, they're right over there. They're like... There's still five left. There's right over there. It's Just, already moved. We oh. need it. We need it for the fire. <laughs> we put that boy to work. There's a lot of snow. You working hard or hardly working? Uh, a little bit of both. 
Oh baby, it's cold. Oh, baby, it's cold. Oh. <laughs> I'm also extremely thankful because my mom had bought these big jugs of water a couple months ago and they've just been sitting here. So since our faucet doesn't work right here and our drinking water doesn't work, we're able to have some fresh water. So I think we should be good um, if the power does end up staying off for another couple days. So yay. don't even bother waking up. The power is out. What? Again. No. Yep. So we woke up to more snow this morning. Look at this. Ah! What is this? <laughs> so yesterday our power came back on and then it turned off. And then it came back on and then it turned off and it was just going back and forth on off on off on off for a good like five hours. But Thank God we were able to have power throughout the entire night. So we were able to go to bed nice and warm. We were able to cook. We were able to prep food and just prepare just in case the power went off again. And unfortunately, woke up this morning. I was able to do a couple of things and make my drink, take a shower and all of that. But the power just went off again. And I want to cry because there's literally no telling when the power is going to come back on. It has been off for like an hour now. We got to look at things in a positive note. We were able to make food. We were able to warm up. We were able to sleep with the heater on. So we were nice and warm and cozy and toasted. So thank God for that. We got to praise the Lord for all the little blessings. <laughs> it just sucks because now it's like... We just got to start over and there's no telling when we're going to have power back. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's a little update on that. And it's currently day three. So hopefully that's it. Hopefully there's not a day four or a day five because if there is, I'm going to go crazy. And I feel like all this extra snow that we got last night doesn't help us one bit. Dad, tell us, how do you feel about the power being out once? Just perfect. Another again. day? Today's a beautiful day to have a cold day. Yes. That's not how Thank you, you say it. <laughs> no? So I'm gonna try to attempt to stay warm and work out. I haven't been able to work out the past couple days because of the power and just because it's really cold in my garage and that's where I typically work out and there's just no way I was gonna work out. But today we're working out up here because I need to get it done. But I discovered this company, it's called Build Boost, and they have a bunch of different flavors in this mixed bag, but this thing helps with immune system, it has vitamins, vitamin B12, it's just so, so, so good, and I've been using this every time I work out, and it comes in like these little packages, and I already have one in here. So I'm just going to sip on this throughout my workout if you guys struggle with drinking just regular water and want something flavorful but also pretty pretty good and beneficial for you i definitely say check this brand out and just give it a try just get this mixed bag like i did they have some really 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 good flavors the only one i'm not a big fan of is a root beer just because I don't like root beers, so I don't like the taste of it. But other than that, I have nothing but good things to say about this brand. So I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to check them out. I don't know who told me about this brand, but it's pretty good. Power's back! And we're all taking advantage <laughs> and making food. Oh. Update. So I finished working out. I took a shower. I put the same exact clothes on because it's the only thing that's keeping me warm. But while I was taking a shower, the AC turned on, which only mean one thing. The power is back. I repeat, the power is back. And of course, the first thing that we do is heat up warm food because warm food is just so much better than cold food. I mean, let's be honest. But hopefully... I pray that the power continues to stay on and this weather gets better. I looked on the weather app. It's actually supposed to warm up in a couple days up to like 60 degrees. 
if you're from Texas, you you know this is this is totally normal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video right here, right now. Thank you guys so much for joining me and us throughout this crazy journey here in Texas. I know there was millions of people that don't have power and still don't have power um, because of all of this and it just sucks so bad but we just gotta stay positive and look at the bright side with god nothing is impossible so we just got to keep our heads up stay warm and just continue to pray and that's exactly what we've been doing and what we will continue to be doing but thank you guys once again for watching don't forget to give me a new tips up if you guys liked it and enjoyed it and i will see your gorgeous self in the next one bye